Hello. Today we are here to introduce new features and enhancements in CS3D Imaging. New and improved features provide an easier, simpler, and more efficient imaging review and treatment planning management. Key features and improvements include a simplified user interface, double jaw arch tracing, new annotation management, improved export experience, and a new report editor. The simplified user interface now has four tabs. The orthogonal and oblique tabs have been merged into a single MPR tab. The customized tab has been renamed to bilateral. A new horizontal toolbar at the top brings most common tools together. It also gives more space for the objects to be visible in the vertical toolbox on the left. All tools appear together in full view. No need to open and close each sub-toolbox. A new analysis management dropdown is available in the upper left corner of CS3D Imaging. It allows users to easily create different and distinct treatment plans from the same volume. New annotations and drawing tools, arrow, circle, rectangle, freehand drawing, and text edit have been added. A preference setting on the measurement tab is now available to associate annotations with a specific slice or the entire volume. The associated slices can be easily retrieved by clicking on the target symbol associated with each annotation. The capability to trace two jaw arches is now available. When both jaws are involved in a treatment plan, tracing both arches will result in optimized reconstructed images. The tracing operation is very simple. Trace the first arch, name it by double-clicking inside the toolbar, deselect the tracing tool, move the axial plane to the position for the second arch, trace the second arch, then name it. The user can then easily toggle between the two arches. To avoid manipulation errors when objects overlap, you can now lock and unlock implants, crowns, and wax-ups. When an object is placed inside the volume, Click on the three dots inside the toolbox and select Lock. A padlock appears over the object in the image. The object cannot be moved until unlocked. Users can now export to any destination, with or without including the light viewer. The export folder will automatically assign the patient's name. In addition to the film composer, a new report editor has been designed to give the dentist an easy, flexible, and quick way to create templates and produce reports. The user adds text, images, and DICOM information boxes, then saves the page as a template. Images from the gallery appear on the right side of the interface. Users can simply drag and drop the images into the template they've created. Slice thickness and slice spacing are now rounded to more understandable values for the practitioner. Also, modification of slice thickness in one view, for instance axial, can now be synced with the coronal and sagittal views when selected in preferences. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes to check out the new features available in CS3D Imaging. Stay tuned for additional enhancements coming soon.